Hey, are you interested in the parametric design in the Idea Statica? I would like to tackle some problem regarding the offshore structures. As we know, the structure engineers and also the offshore engineers are always struggling with the optimization. So if you would like to know how to optimize the connection on your structures, just follow this solution. So let's go to Idea Statica where we will open up uh, the model that we would like to investigate. And uh, my goal is to optimize the inner stiffener to and also receive the maximal stresses based on the changing of the thickness during the iterations. So how to do that? Uh, the goal is to set up the parameters. So uh, we would like to set up at first and activate the developer mode that will enable uh, to activate the parameters mode. So let's go to the project. And uh, in the project, we'll have to go to the preferences developer mode and uh, activate the button that will enable you to do something more in the idea statica and new tab has been popped up uh, has been created so uh, as you can see i have predefined the thickness parameter the thickness parameter uh, description uh, that i would like to see in the design tab and also the expression that is in the se units so it has to be in the meters okay so as you can see, uh, here is another card uh, that, that, that is related with um, thickness of those two stiffeners. If you would like to see how is it looking, so that's related. This is the parameter ID, description and the value that is uh, defined as a default. Okay, so we have, we, have, we have basically everything what we need to jump in. Uh, to API because those solutions will be API based. So how to do that? At first, you need to run the API. So uh, let's go to your latest version of the Idea Statica. So here is a folder with your latest version 24, 25, 26, maybe in the future. So here is the Idea Statica connection rest API.exe executive file. So what you need to do, you need to just run it over. So uh, if you run it, if you make some double click on this uh, on this button, so what will happen? Uh, you will call the API and um, your API is listening on your local host 5000. So it means that your API is activated and can be reused uh, with combination with the Python or C Sharp or the different platform, uh, different language. Yeah, so everything is set up and right now let me let me to approach uh, to the code itself. So I just reused the Python because this is uh, the, I would say, perfect tool for structure engineers. That's uh, pretty easy to understand and uh, not so complicated as a C sharp, for example. So uh, I had I just reused the template uh, from um, from our website. And you can do it also. So that's uh, that's the point. Uh, if I just follow the code, uh, this is my code uh, where I would like to use the variable as a thickness. That is, uh, as you can see, this is the list of the thicknesses in the SC units. And I would like to try open up the project. I would like to uh, run my project ID because it's related to the relevant project. Uh, and I would like to run the for loop over some parameters. My goal is to print it out the maximum stress, maximum stress on every elements based on the thickness of all component, uh, based on the thickness of the inner stiffener. So um, you will receive the informative value uh, how your structure works based on the different uh, topology, I would say. Yeah, so this is the code, uh, as you can see, quite, uh, quite extensive. So let's run the simulation. So if we run the code, what you will see? Okay, so uh, the simulation has been initiated. So your input parameter has been activated. So thickness like a five, um, 50 millimeters, 50 millimeters. So it's in the 
SC units, as I mentioned, and your simulation is running. So as you can see, this is my um, like a description that I know that my simulation is running. What I will receive, I will receive the list of the maximal stresses, maximal equivalent Fulmisa stress, and the relevant member or plate uh, where the stress can be found. As you can see, it's quite extensive list of the outputs and another cycle is coming, another loop for thickness of the 40 millimeters. So I can just sit, uh, grab a coffee and wait a couple more, couple more minutes to get the results. One more iterations and we'll be done. I just finished up my uh, coffee and voila! We have it. So what we received, as you can see, this is my uh, optimization curve. Uh, on the vertical axis, I'm receiving the maximal von Mises stress. On the horizontal axis, there is a thickness uh, in the meters. And uh, I just, you know, used the yield strength uh, for steel S355. Uh, so this is my threshold. I don't want to like exceed this threshold. So. Um, Based on the curve, I can see that um, yeah, the minimal stress is for M5 plate, but the maximal stress is for thickness 50 millimeters and stiffening plate 7. So let's find out if the stress SP uh, on the SP7 plate, like a three, approximately 350 megapascal, will be reached in our UI and in our application. So what we need to do. I just need to step into the IDEA Statica graphical user interface, just use it uh, 0.05 because I know from the graph that this is my critical, critical thickness and go to the design and run the, run the simulation. So uh, right now the simulation should be fast, there is just one load case. I'm just receiving the outputs. I will go to the to the check and I need to find the SP7 plate. So SP7, I would like to sort it out based on the uh, based on the stresses. So as you can see, my stress is 342.3. So and uh, as been seen on the graph, there have been approximately 340 plus minus two megapascals because uh, yeah, there is like a different scale. This is it, your collection is optimized. You can just uh, print it out your report and you're done with your uh, weekend work. So thank you for your attention. See you next time, bye bye.